Superstructure The term superstructure is useful when studying the foundations of sectarianism and coexistence. It focuses on art, the media, politics, or religion. As a concept, it also reminds us that culture, communication, and education are grounded in the economic and technological base. Thus, if we change the base, we can impact the superstructure, for better or worse. But can the opposite also be true? When dealing with sectarianism in Lebanon, most people focus on the superstructure and tend to ignore the base. This makes the situation seem hopeless, as if sectarian conflicts are our destiny. Let's look now at an example in which the superstructure actually did impact the base. The Italian Renaissance. It began in Florence because of the city-state's dominance in industry and commerce. However, by bringing classical Greek thinking and culture back to Europe, it transformed the continent's approach to business and industry. For example, Raphael's School of Athens in the Vatican symbolizes this dialogue between the superstructure and the base. In this world-famous painting, Plato is portrayed pointing up to indicate the primacy of ideas and spiritual values, while Aristotle's hand faces downwards to emphasize the significance of the material world. This relationship is uniquely dialectical. When the ancient Greek classics arrived in Europe during the Italian Renaissance, both art and technology were transformed. It not only changed research and development, manufacturing and trade, it shaped the way Europeans managed their public and private administration, impacting organized religion and the relationship between the citizen and authority. Today's term, civil society, is based on the Renaissance principles of symmetry, rule of law, and civic responsibility. Nationalism is another example of the superstructure influencing the base. It transformed the Wana region of the last 200 years. The French introduced the modern concept of the nation founded on equity and inclusion of all its members. The German model, responding to the French Napoleonic oppression, is more hostile to foreigners. During a large part of the 1800s, Ottoman and Arab nationalism saw the French model of leveling the playing field as ideal. The hope was that Muslims, Christians, and Jews, Armenians, Albanians, Arabs, Greeks, and Turks could all be equal within one Ottoman nation. These high hopes of cultural and economic coexistence were destroyed during the years leading up to World War I. Sectarianism became the norm throughout the former empire. The Renaissance ideal of rule of law and the French model of the inclusive nation have played a major role the last 200 years. Respect for legal norms and the embrace of diversity are key components of the modern concepts of intersectionality and diversity, equity, and inclusion, or DEI. In the Global South, both civil society and progressive members of the business community are beginning to support diversity, management, DEI, and just governance. Corporate Social Responsibility, or CSR, is a good example of ideals from the superstructure being put into practice on the base. More importantly, within the WANA countries, Global South initiatives are working together more closely, called South-South initiatives. They are promoting the interests of people with disabilities, youth, women, migrants, the LGBTQ community, and minorities in the region. In order to have a voice of their own, the professions such as law, engineering, medicine, or architecture set up self-governance and self-regulation bodies many years ago. This self-regulation role model is now being applied to the communication sector in order to encourage applying the principle of rule of law and intersectionality in media and advertising. This model gives more freedom and limits state control. Despite these positive developments within the superstructure, religious, linguistic, and regional sectarianism is on the rise, leading to corruption and abuse of power. Impunity is a big problem on the level of culture, communications, and education. The culture of impunity is part of the dialectical mix between the base and the superstructure. It places Lebanon outside of the principles of rule of law and diversity which govern the global economy.